Folks at home, welcome back to another Backyard Bass Pond video. And as you can see, the pond's in great shape. We narrowly avoided Hurricane Michael, and I'm talking about down to just a couple of miles. It was coming right at us, and at the last second it took a right. But while we were fortunate enough not to get any damage, our neighbors on the coast of Alabama and Florida got pounded, so keep them in your thoughts and prayers. But we got something really cool coming up, and as you can see, there are no minnows, which actually, you can't even see Bonnie and Clyde right now because they're hiding up under the lily pads but they have completely wiped out all of the crappie minnows that we put in here and now that they have room to spread out our objective is to fatten them up so we are going to dump somewhere around a thousand gizzard shad in what i'm going to do is i'm going to put cameras along this wall here underwater gopro cameras and we're going to watch them you know over a period of a couple hours and just see how they feed and react i can go ahead and tell you bonnie's going to gorge herself on them bonnie and clyde's christmas present came early we ordered a thousand baby gizzard shad from Anderson's Minnow Farm in Arkansas and they shipped overnight. FedEx overnight. We just got them, let's take a look. Oh, I like what they did here. They double bagged it and then they put ice packs in between the outer layers. That's pretty cool. So shout out to Anderson's Minnow Farm for delivering a bunch of healthy live baby shad. So I put a white background beneath them so we can see them and oh my goodness, look at how many shad we are about to fatten these fish up. All right, I'm gonna put them down in the pond for about 25 minutes so they can acclimate before the feast begins. All right. Now while they're sitting there, I'm gonna get my GoPro set up. All right, before we dump them all in, I'm gonna hand feed her just a couple snacks. Time to eat. Thinking about hitting it right up there on the surface. Oh, top water blow up coming. Get it, Bonnie. What are you waiting on? Oh, Bonnie, you gotta crush it. Got it. Nice. All right, Bonnie, one more. They're staying right up there at the surface. But I like that even better. Top water frogging. <laughs> That's so cool. Alright, Clyde, you don't have to come out of your cave to eat some of these. You got the underwater GoPro set up. Should get some cool underwater footage. One problem, Bonnie's hiding out down here in the deep end, but I'm gonna see if we can corral them all up here. So I'm gonna just take a net, scoop them out, start dumping them in one net full at a time. First batch. Ooh, she sees them. She's chasing the ones down over there. Look at them. Might have put the GoPros in the wrong spot. They don't know what they're going into. Ooh. And I wonder how many she's going to eat just today. Glad you better come out. <laughs> got him now here's a good look at one that's why they call them golden shiners they have that gold streak running down their back another one down I see what she's doing she's sitting right there on that ambush point the only way they can get to the deep water is to come through that little narrow spot and she's just sitting down there as soon as they come she's popping them <laughs> Yeah, she's gonna be stuck. All right, that was only one net full. And look at how many she ate. So we're about to really just open them up, start dumping them in. All right, net full number two. And a few of them that aren't doing so great. Might have to scoop them out. Well, they might recover. Yeah, they're starting to swim off. I'll go ahead and start dumping them in pretty quick. Probably not good for him sitting out here in the sun. So here we go.
you look at all of them starting to come into the deep end. I don't even know that she can eat anymore. She's surrounded by them. Let's see. She's got that predator instinct in her. Yep, I think she's eating all she can handle. That is what you call a bass buffet. Alright, so we can't leave Sheriff and Moby out, so I got some of them left in here. I'm going to take them and put them in the 300 gallon tank. So we might have a couple hundred left. I think I'm going to put them in the 55 gallon tank right here. We don't have anything in there since Moby's out, and I'll use this as the holding tank. Sheriff and Moby's minnows. Alright, it is time for an update on the 300 gallon tank. We put Moby in here last week, and him and Sheriff have been getting along just fine. Sheriff stays down here only when the lights are on, but when the lights go off on the tank, they roam around together. It seems like they kind of get along really well. So you can see Moby still up here with the same antics, always hungry. But we had a lot of comments in the last video asking why we didn't put Sheriff in the pond. The main reason was because I wanted to introduce him to Moby. I wanted to see how they interacted because they are the craziest two pets that we have. But I think later in the week, I'm going to put out a poll here on YouTube and find out whether you guys would like us to release him in the pond with Bonnie and Clyde, or if you'd like us to keep him in here with Moby, that way they both have somebody to hang out with. We can't leave the boys, Moby and Sheriff, out of the feast, so it's time to see what these guys think of some golden shiners. So what I think I'm gonna do is test Moby's 40 speed in this video. I've never been able to see how fast he could actually swim because he's never been in a tank this size, but I know he's the fastest fish that we have, so I think I'm gonna drop some minnows in the middle and some minnows over here and just watch him chase it down and we're gonna get his actual 40 speed we'll get him distracted over here got him got him now let's dump the rest in right here gosh he just got a mouthful of gravel with that one there's more in there than that one I don't know if he's got any room left <laughs> he is doing work on all of these minnows I think he's got minnows and gravel in his mouth. Before I could really even back up, he had already destroyed every minnow in here, I think. Look at him. All right, we got him all the way over here on this side. And we'll throw it over there. Let's see, gosh, he's fast. Now I'm gonna drop one over here. Man, he has crushed every minnow. I think he's already gotten about six or seven, so that's all the <laughs> 40 speed time we can do. Look at that belly starting to bulge. So the funny thing about the Sheriff is, I think he's lost his appetite for minnows. He actually likes pellet food. Let's see if I can stick my fingers down in here without my wee biting them off. He almost did. But watch how Sheriff will attack the pellet food. It's like he doesn't want minnows anymore. He likes the protein and the shrimp pellets. So you feed him what he wants. Got him. All right, so we got all the rest of them added in the 55 gallon tank. I'd say it's about a hundred of them, but here's a really good up close look at what a golden shiner looks like. And these things can get pretty big, but they are a perfect bass snack. You know that feeling you get right after a big Thanksgiving meal? That's how Bonnie and Clyde feel. So since we fed them really good, I got some steaks going for me and Liz. And folks, if you never use Southern flavor, you are missing out. So I kept an eye on all these fish throughout the night and they were feeding heavily at night, probably even more so than they did during the daytime. But I found a really cool way to film them. I've got a camera that has night vision on it and it makes the water glow really green so you can really see them. Everybody comes out, Clyde comes out of the bass cave and even the catfish, he comes out and eats at night. And that's the only time I can ever see him is at night. And we haven't named our catfish yet or our pet crappie. So I think that the catfish's name should have something to do with nighttime and then the crappie obviously something to do with the survivor. So I promise you guys I'll get their names in the next video. Now we're going to be doing a good bit of work over the upcoming weeks around the backyard pond. We got to resod the yard. Obviously that needed to happen. We're going to add a sprinkler system in up here to water all the plants. We're going to add a lot more lights out here. That way we can see at night, sit out here and enjoy it. We also just added some gutters in. That way we can redirect the water away from the pond. Look at all that bait. And Bonnie's just sitting down there, can't even eat anymore. But folks, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. It is now bow season here in Alabama. So if you enjoy hunting, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we're going to be putting out some bow hunting videos over the upcoming weeks. But thank you all for watching, and we will see you all next time. Bonnie and Clyde were pretty looking
people But I can tell you people They were the devil's children 